confidence in girls and women. Did y'all see some confidence on the stage? Awesome, awesome. So, while the girls are getting changed into their next scene, I want to bring up an amazing woman. She is the first female swimmer to represent Haiti in the Olympics. First female swimmer to represent Haiti in the Olympics. Do you understand the magnitude of that? The weight of that? To be the first female from your country to compete in a sport? She's made history. She told me at the last event, Pearl, I'm a poet. You know, I want to perform some poetry. I always remember what people tell me, and then I'm like, ooh, okay, let me call them. So I said, Naomi, we have an event. Here's your, you know, here's your opportunity. Do you mind sharing some poetry with the people? So she's already done some amazing things with her athletic career. She's an artist entering the space as a writer. So please help me welcome the amazing and wonderful Naomi Grand-Pierre. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna come to the podium if that's okay. Um, so as Pearl said, I went to the Olympic Games and I was not quite as nervous as I am right now to share such vulnerable pieces with you guys. But the theme is like transformation and building confidence and I feel like so many people talk to you after the transformation is complete, right? It's like, now I'm doing my thing, everything's put together, good luck on the journey. So I'm here to share some raw pieces of when I was deep in the darkness, and I didn't know if I was going to make it out alive or not. So those are some pieces I have to share. Our time together is short, so we'll make the best of it. And Pearl, you just let me know when the models are ready. All right, this first one was written October 30th, 2018. It's called Death. And I feel like in transformations, you have to die and it really sucks. So here we go. In loving memory of the flower, which was a rose, but is now a pile of withered petals floating in the dust. In loving memory of the plant which died and lived and died a second death better than the one when I had left. In loving memory of the soul that I once knew but left behind when came the time for a life renewed and then it left and so did I but I did at my best. Okay, um, thank you. This one, um, it was a really difficult day, um, and I put these two poems together. They were written on two separate days, but this first one is called, In the Darkest of Times, The Small Things Save. In numbing agony, I consumed death surrounded she. In lifeless still trapped, in flameless fire burned, encompassed through feeling or lack thereof, perpetuating states of nothing. A search for healing in the dark, for life once more, no more. To befriend a butterfly, slowly, carefully, I crept, playful, cautiously, you left. Daintily again, I try, delicate again, you glide away, but yet never too far. You fluttered close as I approached my finger to your wing, flirting outcomes, life or death, to crush or to caress. Established certainty of simplest tongue in language neither understood. Choreographed mimicry synchronized, our separate movements harmonized. Matrimony of intelligence when worlds of yours and mine collide. Until all but suddenly you left, slowly, quietly, I wept. For in a moment, brief but true, I glimpsed the wisdom of a butterfly. Awesome. So I have one more. Um, and this one, 
I experienced again when I was really just going through it and I was on my knees and I literally asked God, I was like, God, like, I need to know you're real right now because I don't know if I can get out of this. And so I, I felt this experience. And so I would love it if you guys just closed your eyes and experienced this week, this with me, sorry. It's called Present You. Ask and you shall receive soft, quiet, gentle, warm, interwoven harmony, flowing love, golden essence, light waves dancing through crystal clear waters at soothing speeds in a magnificent rainbow of color. Well, well, thank you so much for hearing me out, and best of luck on you guys' transformations. You're going through a transformation yourself, sis, right? Going into writer creativity. So tell us about going from athleticism, right? Because we're talking about transformation. I was a corporate warrior, right? And I left and became an entrepreneur. So tell us about this new chapter in your life, Naomi. Yeah, so similarly to Pearl, I quit my corporate job at the beginning of the year. My mom was very upset. <laughs> Shout out, mom. She's here. Where is she? Where is mom? Where's mom, mom is in the Stand audience up, somewhere. Mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's funny. I told her I quit my job because I was giving all of my energy to these people, and I have a vision. I know what it is that I need to be doing. So I was like, mom, I'm, I'm going to figure it out. And I was able to create a situation for myself where I was working half the hours, but making double the income as a bartender at a steakhouse. And I had spent a year and a half training for that transformation. So now I'm getting ready to move to New York and transformations are messy. My condo caught on fire two days ago. I am fully homeless. I'm sleeping on my parents' couch right now. I woke up this morning. My lungs are hurting because the smoke was insane. Everyone's okay. My valuables are okay. But God was like, oh, we doing this, but it's not going to be the way you thought it's going to go. I said, okay, humble me right quick. So, yeah, I just want everyone to know that, like, all the stars, all the icons, all your role models that you look up to, like, they're all human, too. They all had to go through these really messy transformations, and they're very good at hiding it, but it's ugly. It's ugly. Like, I was crying two hours before this presentation. So it's real, but it's happening. Thank you, queen. <laughs> I'm moving to New York. I'm, I'm following God's will, and I'm very excited. And Pearl, thank you for having me. You're such an inspiration. Yes, thank you. And look, Naomi is a queen, right? If she was able to go as deep as she did to get to where she is now, this is just another level. You got this, girl. You got this. I want to be on stage. I want to be somewhere where you get your award. What's the writer's award? No, we're getting the Oscar for the film that we're writing right now, right? Yes, that's correct. Fatu, not to shout you out, but I wanted to connect you all, too. Yes, because she's going to be in New York, and she needs, you know. Okay. Awesome! Okay.